Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? So it is um, about 7.15 at night. So by the time I get this loaded up, probably the debate will have started. So it starts at 8 o'clock in about 45 minutes. But I just wanted to come on and say, yippee! I'm really, really, really excited to watch this debate. <laughs> I mean... President Biden has been in politics all his life. You know, he's been in 100 debate, 100s, hundreds and hundreds of debates. He's done this his whole life long. He can handle Trump. He can handle this. He and he's been preparing. You know, his ego isn't so big that he thinks I can just go and beat Trump and, you know, I can be unprepared and go in front of the American people and not be able to answer questions that are going to be asked of me. He's prepared the whole week long. What has Trump done? Trump's hold, holding rallies, making fun of Biden, saying he's held up in, you know, Camp David, not even um, doing his work, not being, not being a president. You know what I mean? He's just said all kinds of things saying that he's going to be jacked up, that they're going to give him a shot in the butt and he'll be all jacked up. You know, if they, if uh, Trump is jacked up, <laughs> if he's, tr if he's jacked up, then uh, he's going to have a problem because he doesn't have any audience to play to. And, um, I think he feeds he feeds off the energy of the audience, and he's not going to have that. And you know, if you listen to his rallies, all he does is talk nonsense. I mean, nonsense. He's not telling them what he's going to do for them. You know, he all he's doing is putting President Biden down. All he does is cut him down and say bad things about him, but he doesn't say, what is he going to do for the American people? You know, he thinks he's the chosen one and he can only, he's the only one that can make things better. How are you going to make things better? You know, what policy do you have to put forth? You know, his ego is so big, he will be unprepared for these questions. He really will be. Um... He'll not, he, he'll, he, he won't have an answer, a true answer to the questions, you know. All he'll want to do is try to put President Biden down, mock President Biden, and try to get a few zingers in and, you know, talk to the American people and tell them what a horrible president President Biden is. But, you know, it, it's just like the last debate that they had, it really showed a difference in their personalities. But you know what? I did go back and look. So in 2020, went back to 2020 and looked in June of 2020, Biden was ahead of Trump in the polls. Now, I really don't hold... Um, I don't feel like the polls are actually correct. I don't, you know feel that they're, um, that they, they've never, they've never asked me my opinion. So have any of you ever been polled? I always tell my husband, who are they polling? Who is being polled? Because nobody's ever asked me, you know, uh, a question. Nobody's ever said, who are you voting for? You know, I do get all the time, um, questions asking for my donation and with that, there may be some polling attached to that, but they're wanting a donation with it. <laughs> and I'm not answering them because I'm not giving them a donation, and so I don't answer them either. So I do give, I have given to his campaign several times, but, you know, they just ask every day. I get five or six emails from them asking for a donation. And maybe that's how they're interpreting the polls by those, you know, you answer those little questions when you donate. So I don't know, but they've never just asked me my opinion without asking for a donation for sure. But, um, president Biden in 2020, June, June, 2020, he was up, he was ahead of Trump. And now they're saying he's not ahead of Trump, that Trump is a little bit ahead of him. It's almost exactly the same as it was in 
2020, just a few percentage, like one and a half percent difference, uh, Trump being ahead and Biden being, you know, but who knows, who knows? Remember, they were saying that uh, Hillary Clinton, she was way, way, way ahead, and all of a sudden, boom, she went down. So they were, um, I really wanted her to win back in those days so much, you guys. I really, really was so excited to have, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton in the White House. But I know the Republicans were losing their minds over that. They were just losing their minds. And who knew that they would um, actually invest so much time and effort in telling so many lies about her. It's just, it was crazy what they did to her. It was really crazy. But, you know, I think she was a little bit of an easier target. And Biden, they can make things up about him, but they just don't stick. They really, really don't stick because he's, he's, he has so much integrity. So, you know, and he can handle it. He can handle Trump. He definitely can. So I just, um, I'm pretty sure he's going to say things that are untrue. I hope, you know, Jake Tapper will correct any lies that he says. Well, fact check. You know, I don't know if they're going to do fact checking or if they're just going to let him say any lie that he wants to say and let everybody else be the judge of that. I hope not. But I'll tell you what, I can remember when Hillary Clinton was running in office, when she was running for office, that Jake Tapper was on her ass every day saying crap about her. He never let up. And I will never forget this. If you go back, I don't know if you can go back and look at some of uh, his reporting and he was talking, he bullied her and was on her ass 24 seven. And I am not kidding you. He was. So I, I don't like Jake Tapper. And just for that reason, you know, uh, I, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be forgiving and loving and I, you know, and I forgive him, but I don't trust him. You know, I don't trust him because of what he did to Hillary Clinton. So hopefully he'll, um, back check Trump and, you know, be as diligent as he was during uh, the time that Hillary Clinton was running for office. Hopefully he'll do the same to Trump. But I'm going to go watch it. I'm excited, and here I go. <laughs> I know I know that Biden's going to do good. He's going to come out smelling like a rose. He's going to do well. He really is. All right, guys, enjoy it. Love you so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.